Hello friends, welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to discuss the enhancement done in the text slicer. Text slicer was released couple of months back and I have already explained you how to use the text slicer and enable it. But I will showcase that same in this video again so that you are able to find where is the setting and how to enable that. I will also share the link of the previous video where I have explained this feature. This feature is also explained in the full Power BI video of 20 hours for which also I am going to provide you link in the description. We are going to learn following topic in this video. One is how to enable the text slicer. So it means I am going to show you the options under options and setting how to enable it. Then how to use the text slicer the basic feature and then how to use multiple values in text slicer the one which came in January. 2025 so we are going to discuss the new feature also in this video so let's begin today's journey for today's journey i am going to use the n2 n12 with this calc file and this is the same file which we have used in master power bi full course so let's start understanding how to enable the setting first of all so to enable the setting you have to go to file options and settings Click on options, options pop up will open inside that under the global you have to go to preview features. Inside the preview feature if you scroll down you will see option for enabling the text slicer. You will also see options to enable other few slicers which has came in last few months. After you do that, you can click on OK. As I already enabled it, I can click on Cancel. Sometime after you click OK, the properties doesn't apply in the same file. So you have to close your file and open it again. So let me press Cancel. But if you have not enabled, please press OK and enable it. I'm back on my file. Let me go ahead and add a new page. And in this new page, I'm going to build a visual using state and city. I'll convert this into a table visual and add a major net from my majors. Now here on the build pane, in case it is not visible, you can enable it from right hand side. And if it is not even at the right hand side, you can enable it from the view tab on the top ribbon. You will get text slicer, the new option. If you have enabled it, now click on that. You will get this text slicer. Inside that text slicer, you can put up a field. So let me put a field city. In this one now, if I use new simply and press enter, you will be able to see all the entries where I have new in the city. You can see New Orleans, New York, and New York. Now let's say I want to search the cities having AN in them. So you get all the cities where we have AN. It could be at any place. Now the question arises: can I search both of them together? So an comma new. I'm not able to do so as of now, but yes, you can do it. Let me clear the selections and go to the properties of this slicer. In the slicer properties, if you go to the slicer settings, there's an option for accept multiple values, switch it on. After you switch it on, let's again search for new. Now you can see the moment I click on that value, it appears like one of the selections I have done. And now I can type one more value, let's say in. And now I have cities which contain either in or new. It is or. And definitely we want or. There cannot be a situation where we'll get and for such kind of scenarios. Very difficult situation where we need and in both of that. And if you need that kind of scenario, you can use the filters pane. So now we are able to search multiple values. And this is the one feature you are asking for some time. And this was also not available in the alternative what we have previously. Now, other than that, I have already explained you property in the previous video, but you can have visual borders in case you need a border. Once you click outside, you will be able to realize there is a border. If I make it small, you can see the border now. Let me click back, disable the visual border. There are similar properties. Then you have the shadow to give 3D kind of shape. If you need title and in title, you can use effects to make it dynamic. 
then you have the slicer setting which i have already shown one option then you have input text which is uh, placeholder is auto then you have font color then you have dismiss button the color of the dismiss button is there you can change it to let's say red you can see the dismiss button here see cross icon it is in red color now you can decide the transparency the icon size you can make it smaller or bigger spacing that you can see apply text padding the what kind of text padding you need applied text background so right now it is gray color let me change it to the let's say black now that's not suitable for the kind of font color we have we can make it a little different so now you are able to understand what is this applied background so whatever we have applied the values that's where the applied background is working now then we have applied text box on and off off small difference is there then you have apply button you can change the settings for the apply button the icon of gray let's make it red so you can see the apply button here now we have to make it little maybe font size little bigger okay so now you can see little bigger apply button here then again we have properties like padding background border layout all these common properties there then we have properties for input text box background border focus ascent bar and then there is a reset of all at many places our generic properties would be same data format you have then you have the header icons alternate text and advanced option this is the new enhancement which has came in and my advice would be go ahead and explore it out the reason is the customers ask these kind of properties many times and we are not able to give if you are not aware of these new features which has came in into the power bi power bi is enhancing its ui for quite some time to create a very good visual appealing experience and to provide that you have to go ahead and explore those out so my advice would be please go ahead and look into all other features which has been released in last 12 months thanks for watching this particular video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you